Well, the Mid-Atlantic Air Museum was founded in 1980 as a nonprofit organization to uh, go after the acquisition of a rare World War II uh, Northrop P-61 night fighter which had crashed uh, on the top of a mountain in New Guinea. Um, we ultimately, uh, after about an eight-year period, uh, were successful in acquiring and bringing that P-61 back home to the museum. But in the meantime, uh, the museum has, had begun to grow. Uh, we opened to uh, the public and, uh, and we have about 30,000 visitors a year. Uh, and today it's grown to have a collection of some uh, 107 airplanes. My father was a World War II uh, aviator. He was in the Navy uh, and, and flew uh, seaplanes. And after the World War II, uh, he became a mechanic. So lo and behold, the opportunity to acquire that P-61 came along. And we said, let's, let's acquire that. And we were in a position to do so. Let's acquire that and let's start a museum around that airplane. And we did, and that's how it, it, everything took off, so to speak. All of the airplanes uh, that we have acquired are donated from all over the country, actually. About uh, half of them are airworthy and do fly. We take them to air shows um, so that uh, we can get a wider audience uh, of public to, to see them and view them. Um, and the other half are either under restoration uh, or are just static display. World War II weekend is uh, a, a, an event that we came up with as a fundraiser because we don't get any external funding, uh, government funding whatsoever, we're privately funded. So uh, it's an air show, but it's really a World War II immersion experience. Uh, we have some 1,500 reenactors, some 40 encampments, uh, 80, 80 or 85 uh, rare World War II airplanes that put on an air show, uh, 200 vehicles, and about uh, uh, attendance of 20, 25,000 people every year. Uh, tours are available. We do group tours. We do individual tours. We have uh, tour guides on duty that can guide you through and answer questions about the airplanes. Uh, or you can do self-guided tours. We have that also. 